Hi everyone, it's Emmanuel here. I want to sound a high red alert uh, of what is to come from the government of every country around the world. Now, I'm going to explain myself what that means, but I'm going to tell you what this alert is about. Not very far from now, probably sometime in 2012 or a few years after that, uh, it could be very, very soon, the government, by then, there will be a one world government. Okay, uh, this is too long a story to get into it, but I'm telling you, eventually you will see a one world order, one world government, one world currency. When this one world order government happens, which they're already talking about and they're ready to put this in place, uh, what's going to happen is that they will try to put uh, something in your right hand on the, or your forehead. And I want you and your family to know this because if you are there to see this to happen, especially if you're my friends or my relatives or friends, whoever that I know personally or people I don't know personally, doesn't matter. I want to l make this video to let people know. The Bible talks about that there's gonna be a mark of the beast that is gonna be put on every single person, almost every person around the world on your right hand or your forehead. And the government, the way that they're gonna sell it to you is they're gonna say that this is for a personal identification chip or some kind of mark to be put on your right hand on your forehead uh, or it's for your health information uh, and and it's basically everybody have to take it if you don't take this uh, chip or mark whatever you call it you will not be able to buy or sell now people are saying i don't believe in that biblical prophecies i'm not telling you to believe it i'm just telling you that when it happens remember the words that i've told you because this is what the bible talks about and actually by the way in the news in secular media in secular media, you can go and verify this. They have already tested this RFID chip, radio frequency identification, on animals and on even military soldiers. All you need to do is to scan their hand and they pay and they pay to pay for their food. There's gonna come a time when you don't need your credit card. You just stuck your stick your hand, doop, you pay it. But if you take that, the Bible says you will not have eternal salvation of Jesus because that is the mark of Satan. That's why I want to warn you and your family. It's coming very, very, very soon because the news that's been happening the past uh, uh, several months, especially in this month, what they have passed in the United States government, um, which is basically activating the FEMA camps, concentration camps around the America. We know the, the elite, the, global, the globalists and the bankers, they are activating the one world government very soon, likely to be in 2012 with martial laws, um, uh, detention camps and all these things are happening. I just want to warn you, um, if you are here to see this to happen, that the government around the, the one world government, okay, and local authorities, they're going to uh, urge people around the world to take um, either some kind of shot to your right hand or on your forehead is for they're gonna sell it to you to be your to protect you some kind of social security some kind of health uh, information much like your health card stuff like that if you don't have that you can't sell things you can't buy things it's gonna be a bad place I'm telling you when you see this to happen do not allow you or your family to take it because the Bible says this is called the mark of the beast this is how Satan marks his people but there's a good news out of this. Not only should you not take this mark, they're not gonna call it the mark of the beast. Again, they're gonna call it some kind of, uh, the technology is already there. People call it the RFID chip, RFID tattoo. Uh, by the way, if you wanna take it away, just like what the Bible says, it's gonna, it's gonna cause pain. This is, this is a prophesying that's happening. And I'm saying, if you don't believe in the prophecies, that's okay. At least when this happens, remember the words that I told you. When you see this, which means that you have already been left behind. Uh, because Jesus has already come back for the rapture of his church. Seven years later, uh, later on, he's going to come back with his church to make war of Satan. When you see this, remember that Jesus is Lord and Savior. Because this is prophesied year, thousands of years ago. What you need to do is to repent of your sins, trust in Jesus, okay? And obey every single thing they told you to do. Obey him in love and faith. Because believing in Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior is your only way to get out. And let me tell you something. If, you, if it comes time that you see that they're pushing this chip or mark, whatever it is, on your right hand or forehead, on people around the world, you are going to see many other things around the world happening. J the uh, disasters happening like nothing before. One third of the population around the world is going to die. This is all, if you want to read about what's happening, read the book of Revelation in the Bible. We are in the end times right now, and that's why I want to sound the alarm. If you see this time to come, it's such a tragic time, but there's still news. There's still good news. The good news is that if you trust in Jesus, obey Him, the Bible says that there are people who come out of this time 
of distress, of judgments of God poured out on the earth, huge tsunamis, huge earthquake, uh, asteroids crashing on the earth, the water turning to blood, one third of the population dying, plagues everywhere, all these things, turmoil is going to happen. But if you pers pursue God, and if you keep your faith in Jesus, call upon Jesus, Jesus save me from my sin, I repent of my sin, I don't want to live like that anymore, I put my trust in you, from now on please wash me clean, and I'll obey what you told me to do in the Gospels, I'll do what I said. If you will do that, the Bible says there will be people who come out of the tribulation, who got killed, who got martyred, they'll enter heaven. The only way to enter heaven, after you see this mark being pushed through all the government, is only to not take the mark, trust in Jesus, repent of your sins, and live a holy life. That's your only hope. That's what I want to do in this video, to sound this high red alert, because it's soon happening. It's very, very soon. Very likely in the next few years, something. Because, by the way, the news, secular media, have reported that they are planning, the Bilderberg, the global, the global elitists, they are planning to put this chip in people by the year 2017. We are 2011 right now, December 9, 2011, as of today. They're planning to do this by 2017. Whether they can do this or not, whether they can follow the plan and follow suit, we don't know. But can you imagine if they, let's say that they're really going to do this, finish it, and put eh, all this chip, this mark of the beast on the entire world by 2017, what does that mean? Because the mark of the beast is put when tribulation takes place, which means the rapture of the church must have taken place. So we're at 2011, between 2017. Not to mention all the news around the FEMA camps being activated, they're trying to push the one world order, likely next year, if not next year, probably very, very soon after next year. All this is pointing to the fact that Jesus is returning for the rapture of the church. Not those who go to church. Again, I talked about this in my other video. Not those who go to church, not those who attend Sunday service and live like the world on Monday to Saturday, okay? Only those who have abandoned worldliness, who love Jesus with all their heart, all their soul, all their mind, all their strength, and love others as themselves, not just with the mouth, talking about it, living it out in their attitudes, in their words, in their life. God knows. When God comes, He will judge the world in righteousness. That's what He says. Every secret thought will be made known. Every, everything that you think nobody knows, done in secret, in private, will be made known publicly if you don't have the blood of Jesus. You're not fooling anybody. I'm not fooling anybody. I am well aware of every thought that I have, every action that I do, everything that I even think and look at is in the sight of God. And that's why we're, we're serving a, lo a lo loving and holy God. And if you're watching this video, and by the way, the rapture hasn't taken uh, effect yet. It hasn't come yet. But I'm telling you, it's very, very, very soon. I honestly believe 2012 is going to be a year that is of historical, historical significance. Uh, in terms of world history, political uh, terms, um, whether the rapture of the church is going to happen in 2012, I don't know. It could be. It points like the, 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 the fact that it could be. Very, very likely. But I'm not saying it's going to be. Uh, it could be after 2012, but it's going to be very, very, very soon. Probably a few years after. I don't know. Okay, by the way, I just want to uh, briefly touch on the fact that people quote Matthew chapter 24, 36. Oh, nobody knows the day or the hour. They don't even know what they're talking about because they're just listening to the ministers who are just quoting this verse just briefly in passing so that nobody knows the context. Matthew chapter 24, verse 36 is not a verse that Jesus is intended to say, oh, you will never know when the end times is going to be. So stop worrying about, stop looking at all these signs. This is the exact opposite of what Jesus is saying. Because you got to look at the uh, three verses before, Matthew chapter 24, verse 33. Jesus says, when you see all these signs happening, what signs? He just described them. Earthquakes, rumors of wars, pestilences, the, uh, distress, all these things happening, which is happening around the world today. Israel being rebirthed. When you see all these signs happening today, he says, all at the same time, you know. Verse 33, you know that it is near. The disciples asked him, tell us, when are these things going to be? When is the sign of the end? He says, when you see all these signs happening, know that the end is near, even at the doors. That's the context of Matthew chapter 24. Matthew chapter 24, verse 36, Jesus is saying, no one knows the day or the hour. You're not going to know whether it's going to be May 21st, 2011, like Herald Camping. That's what the devil used to make people mock the end times, mock the rapture. 
Nobody knows exactly the hour, the day of the rapture, but Jesus says you will know approximately when it's happening. And it's happening around the world because even the secular media, the news with natural disasters, even the one world government is being pushed today. The, um, the, the Vatican Pope, Pope, uh, Pope Benedict XVI is pushing the one world, he's calling for one world order, one world uh, currency. Go on the news, October 26th, he, he said it again. In 2009, he made that statement again. We are living in the end times. 2012 is likely going to be the year where they're going to instill martial law. Riots are going to happen. The currency may be deflated into such a bad shape, euro crashing, United States dollar uh, uh, crashing, where they're not going to have... Man, this is, 2012 is, could be one of the greatest historical years ever. You know, and most people today are just, you know, going around, you know, playing with their iPhones and the latest app games, you know, with going to concerts, whatever restaurant is best and all this stuff. I'm not saying you don't need to take care of your family. The Bible tells us to take care of our families, do our duties, but this is not the time to do the things of the world. This is the time for you and I to look at our lives, examine our lives, test ourselves to see whether we're in the faith. If we're Christians, if we're not, this is the time to repent of our sins, trust in Jesus. Because He's coming soon. He's going to come back to the whole world to judge the world in righteousness. Every sin, every word, everything revealed. Unless we have the blood of Jesus covering us. Through repentance of our sin, trust in Him and living a holy life by the power of the Holy Spirit. So I want to sound this alarm. If you're at the place right now, you know you're not right with God, this is the time to repent. And tell your families, tell your relatives about what is happening because when you see the mark of the beast when they're trying to put something in your right hand or your forehead you know that i told you you i'm sounding the red alarm jesus is coming the, the 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 events of the tribulation is so close in the news and the media today this only means that jesus is coming back for the rapture of the church anytime at this moment now may you and i ready yourselves for the coming of the King of Kings, because there's no more jokes. Let the mockers mock, let the scoffers scoff. Just like what the book of Revelation, chapter 22, what the angel said, he who is holy, let him be holy still. He who is righteous, let him be righteous still. He who is unjust, let him be unjust. He who is filthy, let him be filthy still. There's gonna be people at the end times who's gonna mock, scoff, many who are gonna be quote unquote believers, teaching people about, you know, oh, I have this new freedom in Christ, oh, I have this grace, oh, I have this stuff. You need to make sure you read the Bible and know what the grace of God truly is. The grace of God is one that says if you, re if you repent of your sins, trust in Jesus, live a life of holiness through the power of the Holy Spirit, and exhibiting the qualities of Matthew chapter 5, 6, and 7, naturally, these are those who will enter the kingdom of heaven. If you don't naturally exhibit these qualities in Matthew chapter 5, 6, and 7, and many people today are teaching that, oh, Jesus is saying that, you know, we can never attain that type of holiness, you know, they're teaching the wrong thing. You gotta watch my other video, please, that talked about this very important verse. Jesus says, unless your righteousness exceeds that the scribes and the Pharisees, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. All he's saying is, if you're not holier than the Pharisees, which are just holy in appearance, but their hearts are all filthy, if you're not holier than them, you're not entering the kingdom of heaven. Jesus is coming soon. The only way to enter into the kingdom of God, be raptured, have eternal life, is if we trust in Him in truth and have repented of our sins and live a holy life through the power of the Holy Spirit. This is the high red alert. The signs of the tribulation is right before us. It could happen even in 2012 or very soon after that. What are you going to do about it? What are you and I going to do about it? This is, time, this is the time for you and I to examine our lives to see if we're ready to see God. And if you're ready, if you're, if you're ready, that's good. But if you're not ready, this is the time to go on our knees see, and to see God. So I bless you in the name of Jesus that you will continue to follow God, follow Jesus, the narrow path that leads to life. Remember, there are the, Jesus says that the broad way is where everybody goes to. The majority of people, even those who call themselves Christians, Jesus on that day, when he says Matthew chapter 7, he was talking to his disciples. He says, many will go to destruction, the broad way to this is destruction. Don't go that way. Only narrow is the way that leads to life, and only a few find it. Only a few people is going to take up the words of Jesus and obey it in love and faith and live a life of holiness and righteousness. Just like what the Bible says, through the power of the Holy Spirit, not through legalism. You see, the devil has used this true grace and, and, and twist it all around and that people pervert it and say how it's legalism, condemnation. 
But I'm telling you, study this. Study the scripture. Study the words of God of eternal life because He's really coming soon. The grace of God is shed upon our hearts if we're truly repentant. And His grace is to be offered to you today. And He wants you to come back to Him. Are you ready? Are you ready? If not, this is the time to prepare. Repent. Trust Jesus and live holy because He's coming soon. Is that they will try to put uh, something in your right hand on, or your forehead. And I want you and your family to know this because if you are there to see this to happen, especially if you're my friends or my relatives or friends, whoever that I know personally or people I don't know personally, it doesn't matter. I want to make this video. To Hi everyone, it's Emmanuel here. I want to sound the high red alert uh, of what is to come from the government of every country around the world. Now, I'm going to explain myself what that means. So I'm going to tell you what this alert is about. Not very far from now, probably sometime in 2012 or a few years after that. Uh, it could be very, very health information uh, and, and it's basically everybody have to take it. If you don't take this uh, chip or mark, whatever you call it, you will not be able to buy or sell. Now, people are saying, I don't believe in that biblical prophecies. I'm not telling you to believe it. I'm just telling you that when it happens, remember the words that I've told you because this is what the Bible talks about. And actually, by soon. The government, by then, there will be a one world government, okay? Uh, this is too long a story to get into it, but I'm telling you, eventually you will see a one world order, one world government, one world currency. When this one world order government happens, which they're already talking about and they're ready to put this in place, uh, what's going to happen? Let people know. The Bible talks about that there's going to be a mark of the beast that is going to be put on every single person almost every person around the world on your right hand or your forehead. And the government, the way that they're going to sell it to you is they're going to say that this is for a personal identification chip or some kind of mark to be put on your right hand or on your forehead uh, or it's for